Hi, and good afternoon. Welcome to another installment of a landy called Bess. You can see that uh, we're inside Bess, and you can see the top of the petrol tank. Uh, that's the first time that I've seen it. Looks nice and crusty, huh? So, um, we've made some progress, you know, not massive amounts of progress, but still really understanding uh, Bess and all her little foibles. But on the passenger side, we have uh, more or less unbolted the rear body tub. It is loose on the passenger side. So we've just moved over now to the driver's side to do the same thing. Um, and I've just been, yeah, taking the seats out, which are not right. So uh, just one of the many things. I mean, a lot of you um, have said about how original this old truck is. Um, I'm finding lots of things that certainly can't be right. I mean, these fastenings here, we've got a plethora of these um, roofing nuts and bolts holding everything down. I'm sure they shouldn't be in there. You can see them there on the seat box. I'm sure that's not right. Please let me know. Um, I want to ask a question, actually, and hopefully you can solve it for me. So this plate here... Is this the chassis plate? You can see the number there. I hope you can see that clearly. Should that be there? I got a feeling that it should be underneath that other red one there. Can somebody let me know if that's right or not? It just seems a little bit weird. Um, and I've just noticed that plate there now, just behind the... I don't know what that is. Because that's not actually the chassis number, is it? Or is it? I'm not sure. I'd really like to know because a couple of people have asked me about the chassis number. Obviously, I can look on the V5. I haven't got that with me right now. Um, to determine whether it is, whether it is in fact, a Series 2 or a 2A. Being a 61, apparently, it's a change year. Who'd have thought today? Um, so, yeah, just a couple of things that I want to take the time to point out. A um, few of you have been interested in the condition of the bulkhead, um, and um, Josiah Oldcastle was asking about bodges, fiberglass bodges, and the like. So I thought I'd take you over here and show you down here on this door. Look at this door. Look at that. It's fiberglass. Must admit, I didn't notice it when I bought the vehicle. So that's sneaky. Look at that under there. That's a treat waiting for me. Oh yeah, but that'll have to wait for some significant time. I'm not too worried about that right now. But if we have a look on the bulkhead. <sighs> we can, in fact, I don't know if you'll be able to pick this out, but there is, there is fiberglass down here. So that's going to be nice to sort all that out which we will obviously have to get around to doing um well we don't have to but um but we will we will get around to doing that must admit oh sorry about the camera work when we've got the tailgate off that was nice and easy to get off um you can see here that we got no bolts in that fix in there this next one in actual fact the aluminium is completely knackered, so those bolts are holding nothing whatsoever. Those bolts have got to come off, and those ones, and those ones. Um, what I couldn't really understand, having a good look around, if we look in this corner here, you can see underneath that lighter green, I'm pretty sure that's the original bronze green underneath that. Why, why would you paint the inside of the tub it looks absolutely fine that bronze green my guess is that it is all fine underneath this minging hand-painted rubbish i just don't understand why you would bother to do that at all and there's lots of um modern conduit as well there which is not right either i'm gonna have to disconnect those lights soon in order to lift the rear tub so yeah, it's filled with the seats and stuff, which are obviously going to have to come out to lift the tub. 
that will kind of be soon in the next yeah next week maybe if I get on with things um, also I have located a better engine so I've met a lovely guy who um, has a 4x4 workshop in Porth in Wales and um, I'm going to buy a decent engine from him so we're just saving up the money I put a deposit down on it yesterday and um, I've been busy eBaying loads and loads of stuff to try and raise the money to uh, to pay for this engine but something he pointed out to me was that this badge here is not correct for a 61 he said it should be Land Rover Birmingham I wonder if um, anybody else can clarify whether that's the case or not again it doesn't really matter there are so many non-original bits on Bess but I would kind of like I say I kind of like to get them right um, I'm gonna end up putting a five bearing engine in I think so that's not gonna be correct but it's gonna look the same um, apart from it has got a bigger carburetor on it I saw that yesterday um, this guy um, Steve who, who I met yesterday you know is saying that I should go for the for the five bearing it's a much better much better unit and we can dress it to make it look like the um, three bearing by taking you know swapping over the oil filler the rocker cover and stuff like that so I don't think then from the outside you you would be able to tell um, so yeah that's probably what I'm gonna do um, I think that's all the things I wanted to ask really regarding um, yeah, I mean the bulkhead again people are asking at the bulkhead it's not too bad looks like it's obviously going to need some repairs this door is better than the other door but again I think there's a bit of fiberglass just under there so yeah this bulkhead has had a huge repair already you can see that weld up by the pedals there really nice lumpy weld so whether we end up just cleaning that up or redoing it I'm not sure at this point um, I don't want to make work for myself you know this wasn't supposed to be um, like a concourse rebuild or anything it's just supposed to be getting the vehicle up and usable and MOTable um, however that said everything that I'm gonna do I'm, I'm gonna do it to my best abilities obviously um, the chassis uh, welding you know gets more and more every time I look at the vehicle I see more bits that need doing um, probably yes a new chassis would have been the way to go but I just don't have the money uh, to do that it wasn't in my plan so I'm still gonna try and repair what I've got um, yeah so we're gonna be working next down in this corner to uh, undo all the body from the chassis to the body fastenings which I guess haven't been off for some time um, they are pretty crusty I did manage on the other side to get everything unbolted uh, or oh no hang on that's not true no I had to drill two of them out actually yeah two of the fasteners I had to drill out I mean, doesn't look great there does it where that rear cross member joins it's kind of looking weird and those spring hangers as well I'm not sure they're right with with that three bolt arrangement is that right somebody let me know I don't think it is why have you got a spacer in the middle is that just for strength I'm sure that's not kind of right anyway yeah I'd love to know the answer to a couple of questions about the chassis plate um, that rear shackle um, what else did I ask oh yeah the front uh, the front badge as well that'd be great if anybody could let me know about those thanks very much I will speak to you again soon take care oh one more thing one more thing I almost forgot to say I'm knocked out by the amount of new subscribers I've got absolutely fantastic so if you're liking the videos tell other people and get them to subscribe um, yeah it just blows my mind it's brilliant I've had lots of views so I'm very very pleased thank you very much for all your comments and your views I'll see you again soon Bye-bye.